never say I wish I had is an expression that has motivated me. All summer I passed a road sign announcing Rowing Lessons Lake Sunapee Rowing Club. I decided that this was my time to say, never say I wish I had rowed a shell. The rowing club provides the boats and I registered for the novice classes. There are two types of rowing. In sculling, each rower has two oars or skulls, one in each hand. In sweep rowing, each rower has one oar held with both hands. I would experience both skull and sweep rowing. My first boat would be a quad skull designed for four persons who propelled the boat by sculling with two oars, one in each hand. Ready up. your shoulders Steve relax your shoulders and sit up tall and you're gonna go all the way up to the catch you're only going three quarters of the way all the way up with your seat so we're thinking about low hands on the recovery which is this part right here all the way up into the catch here we have Steve's first time in the single this is called a dolphin it's a pinert made by Pinert boat company and um, he's been on the water for about a minute and a half now. He's very tense, a little bit shaky, trying to figure out how to take some strokes with his arms and body, no legs. And these are just little strokes. He's dragging the blades on top of the water for some stability. You can see that's being done very nicely. That's a difficult concept sometimes and he's taken right to that because he likes the stability. I can make sure her wrists are flat, feathering out into the fingertips, pulling the blades back into her body, and now she's ready to go from the release. There we go. Hopefully that will help her remember not to cock the wrists because she's feathered out into the fingertips. Okay, here comes the matching double. Everything's matching except the colors of their hats. Let's see how they're doing. They're rowing together here. It's got these nice, big, long strokes. Just need to contain him a little bit. Boy, is he have a lot of energy and strength. Steve's leading the way here. It's a little bit ironic that you lead from the stern of the boat, but we don't want Henry to take strokes too early. We want him to be following Steve. Steve can't see behind him, so it's most important that Henry do the following and Steve do the leading. So here we have Faith Coxing, and um, we have an experienced rower in stroke seat, seven, six, and five, as well as out in two seat, we have um, guys that have never been on the water before. Um, three and four have been rowing for a little bit, so we're learning how to set, we're learning how to swap in pairs. Uh, figure things out this quickly. 